Inflammation in the brain is also known as encephalitis. This condition can have a variety of medical causes. It can also occur with inflammation of the spinal cord and the membrane covering the brain. This condition is known as meningitis. Both encephalitis and meningitis are serious conditions that must be addressed quickly to avoid fatal consequences. Your cat's brain is as complex as any human brain. While most cats do not develop any adverse conditions that affect his brain, some can develop inflammation that can be serious or even life-threatening. Symptoms of brain inflammation in cats. The symptoms of brain inflammation in cats can vary, depending on the cause of the condition. Some other factors such as the age of the cat and overall health can affect the symptoms associated with encephalitis. The following is a list of some of the most common symptoms associated with encephalitis in domestic cats. Changes in behavior. Disorientation. Seizures. Muscle weakness. Fever. Tilting of the head. Circling movements. Sudden lack of coordination. Depression. Facial paralysis. Lack of consciousness. Small pupils. Uneven pupils. Pain in the spine. Types are. Encephalitis and. Meningitis or inflammation of the spinal cord, often associated with encephalitis. It can be caused by a number of infections, including bacterial, viral, fungal, and protozoal infections. These infections may reach the central nervous system via the sinuses, the inner ear, the vertebrae, or traumatic injuries. Many diseases other than encephalitis can cause focal neurologic signs whereas multifocal brain disease is most often associated with encephalitis. If the neurologic abnormalities are focal, other diseases such as stroke or brain tumor must be ruled out. Most animals with encephalitis will develop neurologic abnormalities over a short period of time. Although less common, we have seen animals with clinical signs of encephalitis for months before referral. Viral infections. A viral infection, such as feline immunodeficiency syndrome, feline infectious peritonitis, or even rabies can cause encephalitis. Most public health departments require all cats, regardless of indoor slash outdoor status, to be vaccinated for rabies. There is a vaccine for five but most vets don't vaccinate cats for it. This is partly because the risk of contracting it is low, as the primary mode of transmission is through bite wounds. It is also partly because a cat that's vaccinated for five will subsequently test positive despite not actually having the illness. FIP is caused by a feline-specific virus. Similar to five, there is a vaccine that has been developed for FIP but, just like five, it is not normally utilized. This is because studies have shown that the efficacy of this vaccine is variable, if effective at all. As such, the American Association of Feline Practitioners does not currently recommend it as a core vaccine for cats. Bacterial infections. Bacterial infections, whether they be aerobic, one that requires oxygen, or anaerobic, one that can thrive without oxygen, can cause encephalitis in your cat. Fungal infections. Fungal infections, such as those caused by Cryptococcus neoformans and Blastomyces dermatidetes, can also cause encephalitis. Parasitic infections. Things like toxoplasmosis, caused by the protozoal parasite Toxoplasma gondii, may lead to encephalitis. Other causes. Your cat doesn't need to contract anything infectious to develop encephalitis, though. Other causes include immune-mediated disorders as well as idiopathic, meaning a cause is never pinpointed, encephalitis. Hello. This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Diagnosis. You will need to give your veterinarian a thorough history of your cat's health, including the onset and nature of the symptoms, and possible incidents that might have precipitated the unusual behaviors or complications. He or she will then perform a complete physical examination as well as a biochemistry profile, urinalysis, and complete blood count, the results of which will depend on the underlying cause of the encephalitis. If your cat has an infection, the complete blood count may show an increased number of white blood cells. Viral infections, meanwhile, may decrease the number of lymphocytes, a type of white cells, also known as lymphopenia. An abnormal reduction in platelets, small cells used in blood clotting, is a good indicator of thrombocytopenia. To confirm lung involvement and related complications, your veterinarian may employ chest x-rays, while MRIs and CT scans are used to evaluate the brain involvement in detail. Your veterinarian may also collect a sample of cerebrospinal fluid, CSF, which is then sent to a laboratory for cultures. 
This is necessary for definitive diagnosis and to determine the severity of the problem. If culture assays are unsuccessful, a brain tissue sample may be necessary to confirm the diagnosis, but this is an expensive procedure. Treatment of brain inflammation in cats. The treatment for brain inflammation in cats depends on the cause of the condition. Cats with immune-mediated encephalitis are often treated with medications such as corticosteroids. These medications can alter the immune system and reduce inflammation in the brain in some cats. If infection is the cause of brain inflammation, doctors often treat it with antibiotics. Fungal infections are typically treated with antifungal medications to reduce symptoms. In many cases, doctors must use a variety of medications and treatments to control brain inflammation. Since it can be a life-threatening condition, prompt diagnosis and treatment is key to your cat's recovery. Your cat may need life-saving treatments such as four fluids and medications to stabilize his condition. Recovery of brain inflammation in cats. How fast your cat recovers depends largely upon the cause of brain inflammation. In some cases, antibiotics or antifungal medications are all that is needed to restore good health, and cats may return to normal in two to eight weeks. However, this may not be the case if your cat has suffered severe neurological damage or the infection was very serious. The overall prognosis depends on the condition that caused the brain inflammation to occur in your cat. Your veterinarian may need to see your cat for ongoing treatment. Your cat's recovery will depend on you keeping these appointments and working with your doctor to keep him healthy. Many veterinarians recommend special diets for cats, depending on the cause of his condition. It is important to follow his recommendations and report any changes in your cat's behavior or condition after discharge. If your cat's condition cannot be treated or is very advanced, palliative care may be necessary to keep him comfortable. Your veterinarian may prescribe medications to reduce symptoms and keep him comfortable. In very severe cases, euthanasia may be recommended. This is the most humane way to eliminate the suffering of your cat if he has an untreatable underlying condition causing brain inflammation to occur. Living in management. With proper treatment and care, symptoms gradually improve within two to eight weeks. However, the overall prognosis depends on the underlying cause of the condition. For example, in some cats, symptoms may reappear once treatment is discontinued. In such instances, a second round of treatment or long-term treatment may be required to save the cat's life. Your veterinarian will schedule regular follow-up exams to evaluate the effectiveness of the treatment and the cat's state of health. He or she may even recommend a new diet for the cat, especially if it is frequently vomiting or severely depressed. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.